Welcome to this 60 second summary of Thomas Hobbes. Hobbes was born at a time of massive political upheaval. Apparently it was hearing that the Spanish Armada was just around the corner that led to his mother going into labour and his life was defined by the English Civil War. This might have influenced Hobbes' view on humanity and he believed that in a state of nature it would be a war of all against all. He said left to our own devices we would be constantly at war therefore there'd be no place for business, no place for culture or the arts and the life of man would be solitary, poor, nasty, brutish and short. Hobbes thought that we would be locked in a kind of Mexican standoff and the only solution for this would be if we were all gang together and handed over a key part of our rights and freedoms to one sovereign authority. Hobbes described this person as the Leviathan and in his book of the same name and his key idea is that if we all give over our rights to this one person that one person can secure our other rights so in this way we guarantee civilization and civilization will redeem us he therefore states that we're all roughly equal we're inevitably going to fight this is going to destroy everyone's quality of life and it's vital that we give over some freedoms in order to preserve even greater freedoms and to allow civilization to flourish and because of this he defended the right of kings he defended the institution of the monarchy at a time when that was not popular and at a time when we were chopping off the heads of uh, king charles hobbes then believes that human nature is roughly equal we're roughly equal to each other we're aggressive we're grasping and in a state of nature we tear each other apart value of human life is found in the flourishing of civilization and that can only be achieved by surrendering certain powers and responsibilities to a central authority namely a king